Well, I made some progress on the car. I'm trying to keep the car um, as original as possible. So in other words, I want to be able to put bolt everything back in without any issues. So that what you see here is like a, a drop in, I guess, frame for the inverter, the charger, the um, the DC to DC converter. Uh, there's an oil pump, power steering pump, vacuum pump. Uh, over here will be the air comp air conditioning uh, compressor. So there's a so everything mo um, everything mounts onto here. Everything I just said, anyway. So uh, um, so right now I'm just gonna take this all out. I'm gonna finish welding everything up, and yeah, and you can see the removal. I made this piece. I made this section here removable. That's bolted in because it sort of wraps around the frame. There's a there's a mounting point there and there will be another mounting point up here if this is all welded solid I couldn't get this frame out so that's why I, this is removable Yeah, don't judge me on the welds. But there it is. The, this area here is going to be for the power steering pump. Uh, back in there is the vacuum pump. The inverter is going to go right in this pocket here. The 450H um, inverter. The DC sorry the battery charge is going to lay up against this the dc to dc inverter is going to lay under under the bottom side there's going to be a battery that goes here and a battery that goes there and i think that's about it so yeah so i'm going to prime this paint this and then uh, put it back in the car when it's all dried Well, here it is installed. See, I got, uh, there's, there's six 5 8 bolts holding this to the frame itself. And then there's a quarter inch bolt there and a quarter inch bolt back there. Uh, those are factory holes. These ones, this was a factory hole, but those two down there, I had to drill two holes. It wasn't too bad. And down here on the subframe, let me see here. Down here, they got one quarter inch bolt there, a quarter inch bolt there. And those were factory holes in the subframe. So no, no need to drill 
there. So yeah, so there's a total of six, eight, ten bolts holding this to the car. So I think that's plenty strong. So now I'm going to start mounting the, the uh, hardware and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Should be enough room in there. Yeah. Hopefully the uh, the vice doesn't come ripping off, ripping out of the table. Telling you, oil makes the difference for sure. I screwed up on this. This thing has fins that run up and down, but I made it so I went like sideways, which I was looking at the connectors and I thought it'd be better if the wires came up through the bottom. Anyways, it should have been mounted up like that, but I already had the bracket already made, it, already made, so I'm not gonna, anyway, it's gonna stay like that, so. See if this works. I hope so. The hell? Fucking hole. Oh. Okay.
what's in there. Now this one is way long. Way long. Okay, that's in there. This, uh, I'm gonna have to lose it somehow. Somewhere. Tie wrap it up somewhere, somehow. Uh, I won't worry about that too much. Try this again for the fucking tenth time. She ain't coming out of there. She's on there solid. Okay, this is where the DC to DC converter or inverter. I'm not sure what you call this. But it's gonna live under the car. Okay, the Volvo uh, Volvo power steering pump is next. I had to kind of butcher this because there's this little corner here. I didn't realize it at the time that it was going to be in the way. This bracket sort of goes out and comes back in again. So I uh, took care of that. So, no, this goes in the back. Oh, shit. I put that bracket in. Of 
course, there's always something. Like so. As I'm putting this together, I'm seeing what could be a problem. The outlet is right here, and the battery sits right here. So let's just do a test. Test fit. That gives me is like hopefully there's enough room here for the return and and for the power for, not for, for the pressure line yeah so hopefully it'll work maybe i can point it up or so, this way or something we'll see okay what's next i think next is I think maybe the battery itself, but I don't want to put the battery in just yet because the thing weighs a ton and I've got a bunch of wiring and some hoses to, to install back there. So I'm going to do that probably tomorrow and uh, figure out where the VCU is going to go. <laughs> I need to know where, where that's going to go so I can run the wire wiring to it. So I don't know, maybe here where the original probably in here somewhere uh, I'm thinking. I don't know is there very much room in there I don't know so maybe over there over here there's a great big great big hole I don't know. I don't know what goes in there. The car never came with anything, but so maybe it'll go in here. Seems like a waste, still all this space for one VCU. Or I mount it out here somewhere. I don't know. Anyways, till tomorrow. See you guys.